So I was on the lookout for a new fun game to play and oh my god, there's so much pinball. Anyway, after scrolling through the Steam page for what seemed like an eternity, I stumbled upon Standbox. Standbox, I asked myself. I went ahead and looked at the Steam page and oh boy, does this game seem like fun. I mean, launcher update. That says it all. There's also other updates, like some that the um, developer forgot. Hmm. Apparently, it's made by Reality Beholder that um has no other games. But Standbox has a very positive review, so that's good, I guess. So here we have it. Standbox. Ooh, fancy camera movements. What's this? Comically large stairs? Hilarious hazards. Sweet, this is gonna be good. Let's try out the settings then. Um, blood color. <gasps> oh, you can change the blood color. That's gonna be needed based on the Steam page photos. What else do we have here then? Experimental hands. I don't know what that is. We've got some graphic settings. We've got good, decent, great, or lumen. Isn't that like how you measure brightness? <laughs> We've got sounds, we can change the music, firearms, physics, gore. Does gore have different sounds? Curious. And key bindings with a bunch of camera controls and whatever and whatnot. Okay, so that, that seems pretty good. Um, let's just try out the box and see what we can do then. So this is Stanley. And he's standing in um in a box. Stand box. <laughs> I get it now. Man, just look at him. This is the face of a guy that knows he's gonna get injured in a little bit. But here we go. This is the box in an empty void. And if this doesn't scream loneliness, I don't know what does. But this is it. This is the game. All right. So what do you do in the game then? Well, you've got hands over here. You can grab the hands. You can pull him around a little bit, you know, <laughs> make his neck break or whatever. <laughs> if it doesn't break though, we've got some settings. Okay. This is where it's really interesting because you can change pretty much any parameter you want. There's also less blood dot any, which is less blood, which is probably going to be needed, but we're not going to try that out now. We've got strong drag, which, you know, allows me to drag this guy stronger. We've got drunk mode, super endurance. We're going to try all of them out, but first, the basics. Trash box! <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is oh, this is gonna be great. I I'm just gonna have hours of fun with this one. So I can just I can just drag this guy around a little bit. I can swirl him around, and at some point, if I'm violent enough, his bones will break. Essentially, maybe if I'm really lucky. Come on, then break an arm or something. Come on. I really I really kind of just want to take his leg over here. Come on, here we go, and just hit it against the box. Eh, come on, keep go. Eh. Just break, break your leg. Ah, okay. Anyway, if you break certain bones, he will start limping or he will start feeling pain in that area. Now, to help me do this, we're actually going to change some settings. We've got glass bones. And I've already set these fracture things to like one, which means nothing. They had like 5,000 or something to begin with, but I'm assuming one is like less than 5,000. So we're going with that. So now that that's enabled, moving his limbs should cause him to break stuff. There we go. Oh, we bro I broke his leg. I did it. Okay. And now he's not really able to move that well because, well, he's got a broken or a fractured calf. Whatever that is. Look, he's falling over. And essentially, right, he's got so weak bones that he should break more bones. So let's do that then. <laughs> there you go. Oh, I fractured his spine. That's not what I wanted to do. Okay. Can he still get up though with a fractured spine? No, he cannot. Look at him. This is the face of a man unable to move because I've fractured his spine. There you go. Okay, let's just toss him into a wall and see what happens. Oh, I fractured his head. How, how can you fracture your head and still be alive? Come on, get over here. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay, your hand is stuck in the level. Get it off. Get the, get the hand off. There we go. Got it out. Okay, you've got some... You've actually broken all of your bodies. I wish there was a way to see if he's like how much alive he is like is, is he like 10 percent alive 20 percent dead that would be really cool but yeah it seems like this guy is is just a just a dangling ragdoll for them for the fun of it and if this is not enough for you okay you can spawn more ragdolls you can spawn in more stanleys this guy is gonna have it because you can toss bricks in this game okay and normally you just right click and you will that's a grenade uh oh 
Not too bad, not too bad. It's all good. Okay, you can toss bricks like this, okay? So just tossing a brick like this, will you fling it at normal speed? But you can hold down the mouse cursor and it will speed the hell up. Watch the box over there. I've, I've held down the mouse button for like 10 seconds and boom, there you go. And you can also do this in slow motion. So I'm going to try and decapitate him by tossing a brick at his face at the speed of light. Slow motion. Oh. Oh, it just, oh, that's it. Oh, that is, that's amazing. That is just pure chaos, that is. But anyway, we can not only throw bricks or grenades, we can also use a pistol. Sounds like this hurts like this. I shot his hand. There we go. It's all good. It's, it looks a little bit sad, but it's just a minor flesh wound. You can take it. Of course, we've got a shotgun. Ooh, buddy. Okay. Yeah, I, I know where this is going. I know where that's going. I've got a AK-47. Right, wait, what are you doing? Don't, don't fall. No, 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 no. Are you having blood loss? Is that what's happening? Hey, Stanley, get up. Get up or I'll shoot your face off with a snap. Now, James, do you know what's going to happen in this box when there's like 10 Stanleys lying around and I've got their grenade selected? <laughs> Take out the blur filter because you're going to need it. Everything. Somebody woke up. It is uh, fainting anemia. Oh, that guy. That guy stood up. That's good. There's also very disturbing noises happening. Now back to the settings then. I've had glass bones on this whole time, but you can also have strong bones. It's essentially different from glass bones. It's strong bones. So he should be much stronger now. Let's put it to the test. So normally he would have fractured a skull or a spine if I fling into the wall. And this time... <laughs> Not so much. Look, he's much, much steered. I mean, I KO'd him. He's got brain damage, but he, he woke up. Look at that. See, he's just getting bruises, but he's fine. He's fine. He's totally okay. He's Stanley and he's able to stand up no matter what. You see, just brain damage. That's all he gets. Wait, I can change the drag mode. Interpolation speed. It, it's at 200. What if I put it to 2 million or 2 billion, whatever that is? Um, I don't know what's going to happen. Nothing, apparently. All right, now let's try the less blood dot any. Right, here we go. Boom, 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 boom. So, right, uh, n not less blood on his body, that's for sure. What about less blood from his- Oh, foot! Ah, it came off! <laughs> no, that's not less blood at all. It's still the same. <laughs> no. Oh, you can't stand up on one leg. You, you need your foot reattached. Oh, you just can't do that, Stanley. Ah, oh, okay, is there- Can I max blood particle spawn? Zero. Chance to- uh, Zero. Amount of zero. Blood spray, zero. Random scale, zero. Zero, zero. There we go. That should do it. Okay, sniper to your hand. And that's it, look. Oh God, I fixed it. I'm safe. There's, I mean, there's a little bit still, but it's, it's more better. It's a lot more better. Now you might be asking, is this box the only level that you're able to play in and stand box? It's not. There's also stairs and the pit. So we're gonna go to stairs now and have a look at this. And here it is. Stanley's at the top. There's stairs below and nothing else. That's it. It's a map with stairs and you can push Stanley down the stairs if you so want to. I mean, that's pretty much what you want to do because that's what this game is all about. So let's just position the camera at a nice angle over here, over here. That's perfect. And then we take Stanley with our hand, not with our shotgun. And then we, yeah! do I still have the strong bones enabled? I do. Let's put on glass bones. This should be a lot more fun. Okay, Stanley, up you go. Oh, I fractured his existence. Glass bones are selected. Here we go. Down the stairs, just a little trip. There we go, boom. And everything is fractured. Essentially, the calf, spine, thigh. He has like the body of a of an 80 year old. You should not fall downstairs at that point. You should just stay up here and be totally safe because I mean, it just says comically large stairs, so you shouldn't fall down them, you know? I mean, I did see the steam picture with this on his head. Can I put this on his head? I wish, I, I wish there was a way for me to like move this. Oh. There is a way for me to move it. Okay, here we go. Stanley, Stanley, come on. There we go. <laughs> okay, that should probably protect him from a little bit of damage, but you know what it won't protect him from? A massive break thrown at the speed of light. Oh! 
Are you okay? Are you, uh, buddy? Okay. I, th I think the brick that I threw at him, it, it did it did some severe damage because this looks like the face of a guy that doesn't care anymore about anything else. Than, you know, I mean, he didn't care to begin with. Uh-oh, that's a grenade. Oh, what did I do? Please don't. Oh, God. I'm so sorry, Stanley. I'm not. <laughs> oh, oh, fractured his head. Oh, it's, it's amazing. Now, Stanley... You might be wondering if you're the only one that's going to get subjected to all this damage. Well, the answer is no. I've spawned in your whole friend circle. That's right. Everybody's here waiting for a piece of the stairs. So that's what we're going to do. Now, looking at this, I might not have th thought this through enough because I don't know if there's a way for me to push people over the edge. Wait, maybe I have powers. Winting Tarantino, Anime Ultra Gore, definitely not drunk mode. What does that do? They all turned immediately drunk. <laughs> what? Don't know what I was expect <laughs> expecting. Okay. And off you go into the stairs. Woo! Oh God, the game is not liking this at all. I've got eight frames and everybody's fracturing bones left and right. This is like a rave party at 2 a.m. with a bunch of 80 year olds. That's that. That's what this is. I've recreated an elderly home with Stanleys. Oh boy, what have I done? So here we have it, the final level. It's called the pit. And you guys remember the, the launcher update? Well, that's it. It's right up here. You could put Stanley on a lawn chair and you can push him down into the pit of death, which is, you know, we're going to do that. Stanley, there we, there we go. Oh, he's still in drunk mode. That's fine. If you're drunk, you're going to need the chair. Okay, up we go, just like this. And chair. Stanley, don't, don't do this to me now and take the chair. Yeah! <laughs> Oh, he broke some of his bones. Well, he's gonna break more now. Oh, Oof. oh. <laughs> I mean, I guess they're drunk, which doesn't really make it a lot more fun, but it kind of does. Yay, his leg. <laughs> Yay, your face. Oh my God. Oh, how does it look like down here when I when I make them fall down there? So let's just go all the way over here. Take Stanley and yay. Wait, I can spawn them down here. Oh, is there a limit? If there wasn't a limit, this is kind of like my computer's physical limit because I can't actually time my Stanley spawning click with the frames. So that's that's not good. Oh God, and then we're gonna take this. We're gonna take the grenade and we're just gonna lob one down there. I need to time it with the, fr there we go. Oh, I got a few in there. 